Hello everybody, it's another episode of What's in the Papers with me, Sister Adam, right here on Pigeon City. <laughs> Today, let's get into the daily graphic and what I have for you is amazing news. So this is a story by Donald Atu Dapatem. I hope I got that right. And the story says, Ghana's NHIS best in Africa. And that was said by the World Bank. How can you tell me this story when the my NHIS only covers my consultation fee at the hospital that I go to? It could have covered more, but I'm thinking it's because they have not been faithful in let let me put myself aside on. Let's hear what the NHIS has done that is so wonderful that the World Bank says it's the best in Africa. Ghana's NHIS is the best in Africa. I mean, we should not reject a compliment, should we? Let's get into it. The World Bank has commended Ghana's National Health Insurance Scheme for being one of the best in Africa, especially with regard to population coverage. Oh, you see what I was saying? There are parts of it. Okay, so Ghana, with its 55% coverage in 2022, came next after Rwanda at 79% whose coverage is compulsory. Hmm, nice. Senegal has 19%, Kenya has 16%, Nigeria has 3%. Hey! <laughs> I thought they said Nigeria no the carry last. Anywho, a health economist with the World Bank, Enoch Oti Ejekum, stated this when he addressed the opening of the training in expected claims generation and submission for the tier three providers in Accra yesterday. He said the NHIS was performing very well. And if we look across the region, the NHIS comes next to Rwanda as the best performing scheme in terms of population coverage. But I will even say that the NHIS is the best because the context of Rwanda is different from that of Ghana. And so in terms of population coverage, if you want to clap, you can do it better for Ghana, he added. Change the rules. Clap for yourself. I mean, if you're telling me that their context is different in our context, then you can compare, if you ask me. You cannot compare. But, I quote, if you want to clap, you can do it better for Ghana. Mr. Ejekum said that what was now required was how to make the reach effective by ensuring that when people went to the facilities, they got the services they needed. They should not be asked to pay for the services covered under the NHIS. You see what I was saying? How can you tell me the story that I am still not getting what is covered and you are the best? What? The next section is titled Blame. I love that. Let's get into it. Mr. Jacob explained that in the several meetings where NHIS had been blamed for not paying on time, some of the reasons had been that the providers also delayed in submitting their claims. You see what I'm saying? The service providers often did not submit them in a quality manner that would lead to efficient delivery, he added. The health economist said the World Bank recognized the numerous initiatives the NHIS had initiated, including the use of information technology to facilitate claims, uh, generation, and processing. Mr. Jacob, however, pointed out that the facilities such as community-based health planning services, that's CHIPS, health centers, and maternity homes were the ones that might not benefit very much due to poor network and the lack of other amenities. So... If you do this and you do this great, then I will clap for you because this is the one that affects the most vulnerable people and the most people who, people in very rural areas. You get what I'm trying to say. Don't clap for yourself for comparing yourself to a context that is different from you. Come on. Come on. I will not finish this story. It's annoying me. <laughs> Let me finish this story. The World Bank Health Economist indicated that the training was therefore a proactive measure to help the participants to generate claims manually as was expected. 
I thought you were clapping for yourself for having IT systems of generating information to make claims and yada yada blah blah blah. Anywho, Ghana's NHIS best in Africa. What has your experience been with Ghana's NHIS? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. This was a story by Donald Atu Dapatem. And I am Sister Adam who read it to you here on What's in the Papers on Pigeon City. Thank you for joining me. You have been informed. Bye.